Hello, Cancer. This is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing. Welcome. Glad to have everyone here. So, I am not re recording the intro because it's five minutes and eight seconds. And if I do that for all of your videos today, which I don't have time for, that's going to add an extra hour onto recording time. So, what we are going to do is I am just going to put the link to the Gemini video down below. It's their birthday month. You can go to their video, listen to the first five minutes and eight seconds and that will give you all the information you need there is some information about the energies this month they are going to be pretty intense so some information is in there about that there's also information in there about the group healings that are going to be happening in the next two weeks so go on ahead and click over to the gemini video again you only have to listen to the first yes okay you only have to listen to the first five minutes eight seconds you'll get everything that you need Okay, general reading, a large number of people. If the messages don't resonate with you, do keep in mind they're for a lot of people, so they may not resonate. If they don't, listen to your moon or your rising sign. And we, without further ado, are going to go ahead and get started, Cancer. Okay, what we have is your current situation, your recent past, this would be the past one to two months, the future outcome and this is the highly likely potential outcome if in fact you take the actions that the angels are recommending that you take and the recommendations are down here on the bottom so you have archangel sandalfin and at the bottom it says prayer so that is your current situation oh you saw this relationship lingering that you not let go of okay so prayer. Prayer is how we communicate with God, how we communicate with Jesus, how we communicate with the angels, how we communicate with our divine team. That's us talking with them. So it's about, you know, connecting with God, connecting with your divine team so that you can be in a place of acceptance and surrender and healing so that you are ready. Oh, hold on one second. Lexi's getting tangled up in my cord. There we go so that you can be in this place so that you are open to the new blessings that are coming in, new relationships that will be coming in. They're also saying, like you notice this person, she's in this meditative state, this pose, she's alone. There's no one with her. There's no boyfriend with her. There's no kids with her. There's no family with her. It's just her talking with God by herself. So they want you to know it's it's okay to be alone. Because many of you are in this place where you are feeling alone. They're saying like the relationship is over. So for those of you that this is a message, you know, they've had the same message for month after month after month after month. You've had this toxic relationship, let it go. You've not been letting it go. You've been holding on to it like, like chokehold for dear life. But they're saying you're now at this place where it's done, but it's not officially done. But again, your current situation. Oh, because for some of you, it's like you're praying that, okay, God, please turn around, can you make it work, can you make it work? But they're trying to have it end. Because what you, you have in the recent past, and this would be again, past one to two months, you have surrendered the drama. And at the bottom it says, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And then you have this card, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So, for a number of you, the past one to two months is when this relationship was over. Like for a number of you, you are at a distance. You don't live near each other. You've not wanted to see them. They've not wanted to see you, but no one's called it quits. You've been alone. You see, there's nobody in this forest, just the crickets. So neither of you have been in the relationship. You've not been involved in the relationship. You've not been wanting to see each other. You've not been wanting to spend time with each other. It's like done, but it's not officially done because no one has spoken up to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm out. This is over, completely over. This is Facebook official over. This is kaput. And you haven't had that conversation. What you have had is a lot of drama and a lot of anger and resentment and uh, backstabbing, sly, 
slight comments, slight jabs, slight actions. You see, look how evil, he's got like these wolves. He's looking all angry. They're looking all angry, like dark. <sighs> For some, there has been some black magic involved in this. But very dark, very angry. This relationship has been fueled with lots and lots of drama particularly the past couple months as it has been coming to a conclusion. You know, like sometimes when people are going through a breakup and they don't want to lose someone and they're holding on to the, the final last thread and they're doing everything they can to try and keep that person there. They will bring up everything to guilt that person. Like, I can't believe you did this to me. Oh my gosh, you hurt me so bad. And how are you going to make it up to me? And that person feels guilty. And then, and it, but then you're stuck in this relationship and all it simply does is it just drags the relationship out another two, three, four months. And it's miserable two, three, four months. It's not like it suddenly turns around. It's this blissful, happy, blessed relationship. No, it's hell. This relationship that you have been in, and it's been hellacious for a long time. And it has been really bad the past few, well, they're saying past few months because it's barely been there. And you or the other person, because remember it's a general reading, has been trying every tactic possible to keep it together. And there's been lots of arguments, lots of drama, lots of making the person feel guilty, uh, manipulation tactics. It's just been ugly, ugly, ugly. And most of this stuff has been happening over the phone because you have not been together. You've been on this break. You're still on this break. You're on your own praying right now. Now, your outcome, if in fact you take the recommendations from the angels, and this would be your outcome through July, you have this Knight of Swords. Now, this Knight of Swords, it is a card of hostility, anger, conflict, which is in fact what this relationship has been filled with for longer, they're saying for longer than two months, like for some of you, like a year and a half or so, or even two years. It's been nothing but arguments and conflict. Like you'll get together and have a happy, great day, two days, weekend, and then you're at each other's throats again. And you may go months and then, oh, you suddenly have a great, happy couple days and then you're at each other's throats again. It's because the cycle needs to end, the relationship needs to end. For those of you that this is your situation, you also know that because you've been getting blasted with divine signs, but your outcome, it's going to be over and done because you have like this night he is the courageous warrior. This is about courage. Courage to leave. Courage to leave it behind. You see, he is, he is donezo. He is out of there. And there's these dead trees and all the snow and ice. And he's like, mm -mm, no, I've got to go. There's almost like these prison. There's just a door on a castle. But it's kind of like a prison. He is busting out of that prison. He's like, oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Enough is enough. This relationship has been cold. She or he has been cold-hearted, manipulative, difficult, a pain in the derriere. I cannot bear to have another day with them. I cannot stand this any longer. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm busting out of this prison. No more. So, your outcome, Cancer, which is very good, they are saying that this will be completely over because on the bottom of the deck, is the death card. Let me see if I can reach it. Oh, because I flipped it over. I can't reach that deck. But when I was putting the decks up on the fireplace, I was peeking at them. Bottom of your deck, you did have the death card. So it is going to be over. They are saying in July. July is when it's officially like 100% social media done, 100% over, finished. You are going to be communicating it because, you know, swords are about communications. He is communicating. It's done. Or she. And it will happen in July. Now, for some of you that do have legalities, may in fact be a marriage, it may not legally, like maybe you're going to communicate that it's officially done. You're going to file for divorce or file for whatever you need to do. Um, and for some of you, it could be maybe you own a house with someone, but you're not married with them. Uh, and it may take until October to get things settled, separated, household, and all that. But they're saying for 90% of you, it is completely done in July. For others of you, it could take as long as October because of legalities separating things. But the same majority of you, you, you don't live together, so you don't have to go through those things. Now, 
it is him. It is the guy who is leaving, walking away. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> yep, okay. So it is the guy that's leaving. You've got lovers, change, moving house, packing up, out of there, wealthy man, and child. So he is leaving to go be with someone else, to have a new beginning with someone else. And for some, uh, having a, a family, moving that new direction. Now, Cancers, that could be you. That's leaving, you're finally leaving the other person. That could be them. Now, consider the message for a number of months has been to let them go. For most of you, it's going to be them leaving. But your outcome is it's done, it's over, finally. Because the relationship on both sides has been cold. It, there's not been any love. You've not been happy. You've been miserable. Now, whether it's you officially taking the leap and running or them, you both have been miserable. It's been a cold, loveless relationship for a long time. But guess what? It's done, finally. And they keep saying like, finally, officially, completely over. And they keep making it fun. They're like Facebook official. Like, so for like a number of you, you've been on this break. You haven't communicated, you haven't told your friends, you haven't told your family, you're still posing. They're saying posing, you're making it appear to everybody like mm, it's still on, it's still good when it's not. But by the end of this month, no later than July, that will be communicated. It will be over. You're out of the prison. You're out of this cold, heartless, loveless relationship, moving on to better things. The angels are encouraging you. And the reason why I say most of you, it's that other person walking away. They're encouraging you to have the confidence to allow them to fall away, to allow them to leave. You've got the confidence card at the bottom that says, be bold, rise up and stand tall, feel the fire in your soul. And then you've got this eight of chalices and you see she's got her hanky, she's crying, she's watching him leave, watching him walk away. The angels are encouraging you. And this card, the meaning of it, it is the, the sad goodbye. It is about an unwilling departure, someone leaving. You don't want them to leave. She's sad, she's crying. She's like, no, don't go. That's the state you've been in for months. Because for some of you, they're saying like you've almost had practice breakups where you've, you've, you've discussed it being over, you've gone in your separate corners, you just haven't officially said, okay, yeah, we're definitely done, we're not coming back together. Um, but it's a loss. The angels are encouraging you to relinquish the battle, to give up, to stop fighting for this empty relationship. You see, there's nothing in these cups. They're all tipped over and some of them are like completely tipped up on the side, nothing's coming out, no water's coming out. There is no emotion, no love in this relationship. It is in fact an empty relationship. They want to fill your cups with love. It is not with this person. So their angels are highly recommending and we all have free will. You could say, no, I'm gonna to try to hold on for another month and we can hear the same messages again next month because you do have free will. But the angels are encouraging you to just let it go. Stop the battle, stop fighting. Also stop fighting to control the ending. Stop trying to control him or her and just have the confidence and courage just to let them go. And for a number of you, you're the, okay, it's a general reading, could be the other way. But you see how this, it's like a hawk mixed with an eagle, mixed with a real furious bird, real angry. Don't be angry at them leaving, allow them to leave because they want to bring you someone so much better into your life, but they cannot bring you this new person who's gonna be this deep soulmate, this person you have a strong connection with. Some of you, it could be a twin soul. All twin flames have already met, so it's not gonna be a twin flame. It could be a twin soul, but it's a high level soulmate. This person, you're gonna have such a deep connection with. You're gonna be like, oh, why was I wasting so much time with Bozo over there? Why didn't I let that fall away a long time ago? Why did I delay this bliss? They have something so much better. This is an empty, loveless relationship. For some of you, it's actually been filled with uh, like jealousy, envy, almost like not, like you don't really want them, but you don't really want anybody else to have them. But the angels are encouraging, let them go. Let them go. They have someone new coming in for you. For some of you, they did break your heart, which is why you're so angry. Angry, angry, lots of anger, lots of anger. But just let them go. So you can have somebody come in that's not gonna break your heart. That's not gonna hurt you. There have been a lot of lies in this relationship. Uh, trust has been betrayed. This has run its cycle. Cups are empty, there's nothing else remaining there. So the angels are encouraging you, let them go. Let them leave. It is time to give up. 
It is time to stop fighting for this. It is time to allow it to fall away. Allow them to walk away, allow them to leave. They're encouraging you to grieve your losses. Take this next month and grieve, take this month. They're saying take this month to f grieve your losses because they're saying for a number of you, you've already been grieving because you haven't been with each other for the past one, two months. For some of you, even longer. Some of you, you haven't even been together since like the holidays. So you've already done a, a, quite a bit of the grieving. So allow yourself to conclude the grieving this month so that in July you're able to move forward and you can establish new roots with someone that will flourish, that will grow because they do have some amazing, amazing things coming in. They do have this dreamboat partner and they're telling me they're not gonna let me tell you about this dreamboat partner until you let this one go. Let this one sink, let it go. And then next month I can tell you about this awesome person that's coming in because you're gonna wanna know about this person because they're gonna knock your socks off. They're gonna be, as I tell one of my friends, they're gonna be your toe curler. Mm, we all want the toe curler. So let's bring your toe curler in, Cancer. Let's let this one go. Shove this fish back out in the sea so we can catch your big shark. Your big, your big catch. And uh, we'll get your details on that next month. So I wish you all a lot of love, joy, and blessings.